my magical butterflies this is magical butterfly spirit here and i'm doing a special reading today where we're gonna have four pals to choose from and each pal is gonna contain a channel message from marilyn Monroe. and what i hope is we can all get advice regarding different topics so i have pal number one if you're like advice about the divine feminine this is the pal you'll select Pile number two is money. So if you like advice from Marilyn Monroe regarding money, this is the pile you pick. Pile number three, love. Again, advice from Marilyn Monroe regarding love. And pile number four, social media. And when, I, when I'm focusing on social media, I'm thinking of my contact creators who's interested in growing their YouTube channel, TikTok, Instagram, so forth. So pile number one, divine feminine. Pile number two, money pal number three love pal number four social media and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the timestamps in the comments and the description box so you guys can just go ahead and jump to whichever pal that's calling to you all right so let's get started with pal number one i'm just going to go ahead and put these to the side for now All right, let's see what Miss Marilyn Monroe have to say about the Divine Feminine. So we have three tarot cards, Justice in the Reverse, the Lovers in the Reverse, Six of Pentacles in the Reverse, Upright, excuse me. We have the Angel Answer Wait. We have from the African Ancestors cards, we have Sacred Lust, which is uh, with Katesh. Go ahead and look at that, that's a beautiful card. We also have Harvest, a Bonima. Another beautiful card. I have um, guiding this reading along with uh, Marilyn Monroe is Archangel Jeremiah, who represents reflection. And we finally have from the um, Starseeds Oracle, Earth School, Life's Lessons, Soul Growth, Study, in higher learning all right so i'm going to go ahead and get its channel channel message let me go ahead and get the lifesaver tarot deck that's what's calling me right now i'm going to use the tarot deck to help with the channel message Ten of Cups popped out. Number 20, Judgment, came out as well. Cutting the deck. And I have the King of Pentacles. All right, so let's get started. Give me one moment to connect. Marilyn Monroe wants everyone to know that divine, the definition of divine, divine feminine is not limited to astrology or spirituality. It is our birthright as females. We are placed on this planet to enrich, enrich the world with our feminine beauty our intuition in the unconditional love that only a female can provide. Without us, the world will be an empty place with no children. Humans will cease to exist. Our lust that has been controlled by men is ours to reclaim. We are our own success stories. Our world as a divine feminine is guided by our sisterhood. Without each other, we would perish. Love your sisters, love the womanhood, never put another woman down respect each other, love each other. 
remind each other that we are all queens and princesses. Raise your children to respect women and to be a powerful woman in their own image. To remove the mask that you have, to never let a man tell you your work, to never stifle your communications for others, to know that you are a wish fulfillment, to never allow your sexuality to be dictated by others. The only changes you make is because you want to make a change and not because others make changes for you. Never take no for an answer. Never let a man tell you that you're too emotional. As divine feminines, our intuition guides us every single day. Our emotions guide us every single day. And knowing this, society as a whole has tried to control our ideas. They have tried to keep us down and they have tried to keep us less than who we are. Which is why they are scared of an educated woman. Take time for yourself for self-care and reflection. Facials, manicures, makeup, clothes are not superficial things. Is that If that's what you're into, be proud of it, embrace it. Never let anyone tell you that because you like to get your hair done or spend money on a Gucci Prada bag or clothes, that you should feel like you're wasting your time or money. As the Queen of Cups, you are entitled to so much in this world. And knowing this, society has suppressed everything from us and has dolled us up as only sex, sex symbols because they know that if we tap into our true, true power, we could conquer the world. Okay, so that's all I have for um, the channel message for the Divine Feminine. I wanna thank you for watching and listening. Uh, please subscribe, like, and share. If you'd like to listen to the next pile, which is regarding money, please stick around. Um, I want to thank Marilyn Monroe for gracing, gracing us with her advice. I also want to thank my spirit guides and ancestors for keeping me safe as I channel the information for you. And I want to thank you for being here as well and giving me your time and energy, which I return back to you. All right, so now I'm moving on to pile number two, which is regarding money. Let me just go ahead and finish cleaning this up a bit. Okay, so pile number two. I think this is before she became Marilyn. This is her Norma Jean persona. I just heard. He said persona. This is a persona. This is a um, one part of her personality. This is another part of her personality. She didn't transform from Norma Jean to Marilyn Monroe. She just tapped into who she is. She used her sexuality as a business strategy to help her reach her career. So she's already given us information regarding money advice. All right, so let's see here. So I have, I have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. I have the Six of Wands upright. I have Starry Sea card, Star Brother. And I have 
The answer, angel answers trust and no. And she actually has a lot to say about money that I'm already getting channel information in. So hold up, Marilyn. <laughs> Let me um, get the Rider's Weight card before we get started. Cutting the deck. And shuffle in real time. Cut the deck in half. All right, we're ready. All right, Marilyn, what do we have to say about money? For the collective who are watching right now and for me i want to know about money as well all right so first of all use what you got to make what you want whatever career path you choose aim to be the top never settle for less never work Never work for less than what you deserve. Be strategic, be smart. Read all contracts before you sign them. Start a small business if you can. Start a production company if you can. Basically, whatever field you're in, own a piece of it. If you're a scientist or an engineer, create a patent. If you're in modeling, create a beauty product or fashion design. If you're a writer, create a series of books to let everybody know that you are talented in this genre. Never settle for less. Cross your P's and Q's when it comes to money. Never try to rush a situation for the quick buck. It will always bite you in the bite you in the butt in the end, like it has done me. Keep your ideas close. Trust no one with your money. Learn to balance your money. Spread it out in the banks. Keep some at home. Keep some in the stock market. Learn how to invest. Never limit your money into one pot, so to speak. Spread it out. So if one pot dries up, you always have another pot to rely on. Your friends that you known from childhood may turn their back on you with the more money you make. And they may feel like they own you because they known you way back when. That is a warning to you to protect what you owe, own that loyalty only goes so far. Trust your intuition in knowing who you can trust and who you cannot trust. Never underestimate the evil of money and how it could change people. Those same people that you once celebrated with could easily turn their back on you. They will use all kinds of tactics to get to your money. Be mindful. Don't let the patriarchy tell you what you can do and what you cannot do with your money. It's your money. Save, spend wisely, and then have money set aside for all the fun things you like to do in life. Enjoy life. Money is here to help you in this world to get the things that you want. That's true. But in essence, it's an energy exchange. It's a change, it's an exchange from one product to another, one energy to another. 
I'll give you this in exchange for that. Remember, that's all money is in the end. Flow with the energy of money. Don't fight against it. When you fight against it, that's when you hit levels of property. That's when you believe all the things they told you growing up that you are less than who you are, that you can never achieve success, that everything your parents told you about how your life will go is true, but it's not true. You are your own success story. You have a choice. You could live in poverty or you could live in success. It's up to you. It's always been your choice. It has never been anyone's choice but yours. Society will tell you differently, but they want you to rely on them so you could be another cog in the wheel. Break free. Again, make your own stamp in your industry. Own a piece of it, whether it's small or large, in the industry that you love. And if you do that, you'll never go for want. Okay, so that's all um, Marilyn Monroe has regarding money. Well, I want to thank those who are here. Thank you for loaning me your energy. I shall return it back to you and return my energy as well. Thank you to my spirit guides, to my angels, my guardian angels and ancestors, and as well as Marilyn Monroe for allowing me to channel this message under your protection and guidance. And I do appreciate the fact that you guys are listening and watching, and I hope that the advice that she gave will be helpful for you because actually I do know I'm already I'm going to listen to my own video and um, take her advice as well. She wants me to let you know before you go that a good rule of thumb is to save 20 to 25 percent of your all money you receive to pay yourself a percentage as well to invest a small percentage and then use the rest to pay your expenses. So however that works out for you, because she does not want to tell you how to spend your money per se, as far as um, the percentage for each amount, because everybody's life is different. But she wants you to put a little bit of money aside for yourself, for your self care. She wants you to put a little bit aside for your savings. She wants you to put some aside for investments whether that's investments in your own business or stocks, bonds, other people's business, angel investment, however you want to dole it out. And to always make sure that you have money for your own expenses and to keep your expenses down. Because just because you get a raise doesn't mean your expenses should grow. Your expenses should stay the same and you should use that raise or the additional profits that you're receiving in the other portions of the money pie. Okay. I will just double check it to make sure that was it. All right, so thank you, Pal 2. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm moving on to Pal 3, which is love. If you'd like to stick around. And again, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and clean up and get pal three ready for love. I gotta tell you, probably the, um, I wanna say the most annoying because I do love doing this, but um, the most tedious, well, I don't know. The most work is when you have different pals and try to keep it organized. It's a little bit like, okay, 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 let me do this, do that. Because there was actually a video where I confused the pals. And I did pal two for three and pal three for two. And so I would say that's probably the most um, vexing part of pick a pal readings for me. So knowing that, I'm trying to be very mindful of each pal. 
All right, so pile number three, this is regarding love. All right, Miss Marilyn, so we have pile number three, love. We have Romance Oracle cards, love yourself first. It is safe for you to love. Go ahead and show you that. I also have the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and I have Star Sea card, Your Life is a Canvas, and Angel Ansel card, Abundance. I'm going to use the Lyceer deck to help me channel. Moody's over. And I'm going to shuffle, cut the deck, and then we're going to get started. All okay, so Miss Marilyn, what advice do you have for the collective, including myself, regarding love? If you don't love yourself unconditionally, no one will love you the way you need to be loved. If you don't say, set boundaries for yourself, everyone will run over you. If you don't put yourself on a pedestal, how can you expect others to put you on a pedestal as well? No matter how many heartache and pains that you go through, I have always found that it's better to recover and to love again instead of giving up on love itself. Yes, you will go through heartache and pain, but know that being in love is the most glorious feeling in the world. And I must rather take the chance of being heartbroken again than to miss out on experiencing that, experiencing that feeling of love. Love may look different for you. It might not be a traditional marriage. It might not be what your parents have. It might not be what society tells you it should be. Love who you want to love regardless of gender. Don't ever estimate how powerful love is. There are gonna be times in your life when you have to decide which path you wanna go on. Unfortunately, there will be times in your life when you have to choose between love or business. Staying home with your significant other or going on the road but know that at the end of the day if the person really loves you they'll be waiting at home for you make plans for each with each other go out on dates never underestimate that just because you are together for years that you should, shouldn't keep it fresh and new once you're in a committed relationship don't take that trust away don't let the person you with ever feel like they're an option because they're not if they are an option, that means they're not the one for you. Trust them. Get out of your head about whether they are being committed to you. Because again, if they are treating you as an option, they're not for you either. Make time for yourself. Ground yourself. Love yourself because otherwise you could get lost in a relationship 
and become codependent and you don't want that for yourself. You are the Empress, you are the Emperor, you are the Divine Feminine or the Divine Masculine. Remember that in your relationships because it's so easy to get lost in the other person's eyes that you forget your own goals that you set for yourself in life and your childhood dream that you imagine when you were a young child. Love and abundance is a beautiful thing that many cannot claim. When you find someone to love, hold on to them, treasure them, never let them go. Remember that your life is created by you and no other. Love who you want to love. And if that person loves you back, count yourself truly lucky. All right, thank you guys so much for um, listening to PAL 3 regarding love. I wanna thank Marilyn Monroe. Um, I have to say, when she was talking about love, she really believes in love. Like, she has a 